In this video, I'm going to briefly define polypharmacy and discuss how it can be problematic, particularly for older adults. Recent population-based studies have estimated that between 36 to 44 percent of adults 65 years and older take at least five different medications. The high rates of medication usage in later life is due to the increased likelihood for older adults to be living with more than one chronic health condition. The use of multiple medications is referred to as polypharmacy. However, this is a very simplistic definition. Some researchers studying polypharmacy believe that the issue is more complex than that. It is common for researchers to state that an individual needs to be taking a minimum of five medications for it to be labeled polypharmacy. Others discuss the need for other mitigating factors to be present. These include long-term use of medications, the use of potentially inappropriate medications, the use of medications that are not medically necessary, and patients visiting multiple pharmacies to obtain their medications. Other researchers have suggested a move from defining polypharmacy as simply the use of multiple medications toward differentiating between appropriate and inappropriate polypharmacy. Appropriate polypharmacy is when medications used to treat complex and or multiple conditions are optimized for the health and the safety of the patient by using medications that are evidence-based. Older adults are at an increased risk of medication side effects and interactions when they are taking multiple medications. This is due to the increased likelihood for older adults to be taking multiple medications in general compared to middle-aged and younger adults. They are also at an increased risk due to common physiological changes that occur with age. Physiological changes with age may decrease medication absorption, slow down the rate that medications enter the body, and increase the time medications stay in the body. For example, liver and kidney changes may lead to increased levels of medications in the bloodstream for longer periods of time. This may be due to the increased time it takes for the liver and kidney to take those medications out of the body in older adulthood. The potential issues associated with polypharmacy are numerous. Older adults taking multiple medications are at increased risk of inappropriate medication usage, outpatient visits, hospital visits, higher medical costs, adverse drug events, drug interactions, not adhering to their medication regimen, functional decline, cognitive impairment, falls, urinary incontinence, and poor nutritional status. Knowing the increased risk for older adults taking multiple medications, what can we do to lower those risks? Professionals in the field recommend the following. One, individuals and families should monitor and report all medications to treating physicians. This includes over-the-counter medications and supplements. This will allow healthcare professionals the opportunity to identify potentially adverse drug interactions ahead of time. Number two, Healthcare professionals should consider alternative treatments such as behavioral interventions where it's appropriate. This is something individuals and families can also request of their prescribing physicians. For example, if a physician suggests the use of a medication to treat symptoms of depression or anxiety, it would be appropriate to ask if therapy from a licensed professional counselor or a psychologist could be used as an alternative treatment route to consider. Three, Healthcare professionals can help older adults managing multiple medications by improving patient understanding of those medications. This can be done by clearly explaining the purpose of the prescribed medications, potential side effects to watch for, and instructions for use. Four, healthcare professionals can help older adults learn how to manage their medications independently. Improving medication management and organization can improve the patient's adherence to their medication regimen. This is key to successful treatment. Five, individuals and families can help monitor for adverse drug events. Call your prescribing physician the moment you notice any negative reactions to a medication so the medication can be changed or adjusted to reduce negative side effects. And finally, six, the use of interprofessional teams to treat adults with multiple health conditions. This allows medical professionals to work together to choose evidence-based medications that will work well to together to treat the patient. Professionals can also work together to help monitor, adjust, and or reduce medication regimens where needed. If you're interested in learning more about polypharmacy, here are some of the open source research articles referred to throughout this presentation to get you started.